much is a lot of money? Eight million dollars. How would you like to make a nickel? Okay. Go into the hospital. See if you see a fellow with a lot of freckles. Tell him Mrs. Steiner wants him to come back down here. When do I get my nickel? Half now and half when you come back. Which half do you want? Here. I'm raising your pay to a dime. You get this nickel now, and another one when you make your report. You're not a salute? Very good. Now run. <laughs> Young man, would you like to talk to your friend on the telephone? Be right back. What's my fault he went back? Always speak politely to your elders and you'll do fine. Tell your father to buy 19 shares of Marblehead Electron at 15 instead of 21 and a half. Can you remember that? Yes, sir. Dismiss. Please connect us with 357. That's right, the handsome one. Well, may I speak to Mr. Murdoch, please? This is a friend of his, Todd Stiles. Hello? I just told the other nurse this is a friend of his, Todd Stiles. Hey, Tiger, how many nurses do you have up there? If that's what it takes, I may have to pick up a mysterious virus of my own. Look, I'm in kind of a hurry. I just called to tell you I got a job. Well, listen to this, and then you tell me how good it is. College graduate, must own own car. Background in philosophy and psychology appreciated. Must be early riser, salary commensurate. Apply 342 Dalton before 6 a.m. I got down there at 5.30. The place turned out to be a wrestling arena. There was one other guy there ahead of me. He was sitting in a wheelchair with a blanket across his feet. He said, uh, did you come about the job? I said, I thought 5.30 was pretty early. He said, you have to get up earlier than that to get ahead of me. I'm Rudy Steiner, and I'm glad to see you got the job. I said, how do you know? He said, because I placed the ad in the paper. I said, uh, well, what do I do? And he said, whatever I tell you to do. I said, now, wait a minute. He said, if I tell you to do anything wrong or against the laws of the United States or God, you can quit. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. He really talks that way. Oh, he's a wrestling promoter. Be good. I'll check again with you later. Thanks. <laughs> A question like that is the first step toward intelligence. We're going to meet a Hungarian wrestler. Go to the bus depot.
He's older now. Do you import him just to wrestle for him? I like him. He should look older. He's been in jail for the last five years. I don't need any help. You see? I will be over to him. Take this ten, maybe twelve years. Excuse me, I I know you. Not yet. My wife sent you. I wanted to get a look at you firsthand. Where is my wife? I mean, why does she not come to meet me? She is wrong. Other world, eh? sick. My wife is sick. I didn't know whether I wanted her to see you. I wanted to see first for myself. I don't understand this. Wife does not need permission to see husband. I sent telegram. I, I don't see, uh, I don't know you. Yes. Oh, yes, I send this to my wife. I don't like the idea of people meeting together in a public place after a long time. How do you say hello in a public place? I want to see my wife now, huh? Now. Take him to Prime Oak Inn. Ask any gas station. They'll know where it is. Oh, yes. Prime Oak Inn, that's what letter says. Prime Oak Inn. Let us say we own Prime Oak Inn. Uh, Mr. Steiner, it's only a two-place car. I mean, uh, ordinarily... I know how to take a taxi. Hey! Pleased to meet you. This is something to be beautiful. <laughs> Wrong word? Good. Fine machine. <laughs> is permitted to drive fast? Well, there are limits. We drive fast. More fast. Up to limit? Speed limit. Up to speed limit. It has been a long time I don't see my wife. Also, a long time I've been in prison. I don't feel to move. You know to move? To move uh, into wind? No walls to stop you to move. <laughs> Up to speed limit, please. <laughs> I guess she's right inside. Uh, all you have to do is go in and find her. She's 
it has been eight years since I see my wife. Before revolution, before prison, I, I have stones. Uh, is wrong word. Uh, diamonds. Other kind diamonds. Jewels? Yes. Jewels. Part of family. My mother gives them to me for wife. When I give to Eva, name of wife, Eva. Sent her here. We have planned to buy hotel. Well, place to eat. You understand? This? But how you say hello <laughs> after eight years? Uh, hello. <laughs> Before man says, it's bad to say hello in public place, huh? You do me a favor? You go in, ask for Eva Biro. Tell her, send or wait by car. You do this for me, please. Mrs. Eva Biro? Yes? I was asked to deliver a message to you. Sandra Biro is waiting outside. You're not making a joke, are you? No, he's waiting outside. I think I want to faint. No. Wouldn't faint at a time like this. I don't have the strength to go to him. My knees are like water. Sandor, really? Really? Excuse me. How will... How is he? He's fine. He's in good health. Really, he's all right. You sure? You really sure? You can see for yourself. He's right out back. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? No. Santa. I think of you every day. Yes. Yes. I wake up with your eyes, your... your hair. I kiss your lips before I open my eyes. I waited, Sandor. Everyone say crazy Sandor Biro. He talks to wife in USA. Eva? How are you? Fine. How are you? Why? Why don't you come to me? I 
was so afraid. I was, uh, I was frightened to death. Could not believe you could be so, so right, Eva. Wrong word. Successful. There, finished. Mm -hmm. Could we be able to speak together? Could I be able to say how much deep feeling how I feel towards you as a fine person. Everything you have done. Eva? I have said something to make you trouble. I just want to say thank you, Eva. From deep inside my heart. You don't know. I don't know. I come from behind eight years to find my wife wait for me. To find all this. Made by you. Without me. No husband. No help. A woman in strange country. I need to talk to you. No. Nothing. I don't need to hear nothing. I need to tell you many things. I don't want to know. I have no questions. But, Sandro, nothing here belongs to us anymore. Everything was sold, everything. I just work here now for a salary every week. Nothing belongs to us. Nothing but my salary, my paycheck every week. Well, Eva, this is nothing. It's just money. We are still young. We begin again. I am here now. We are together. You hear me good. I got my wife. I got my free now. Successful money is nothing. You hear me good, Eva. My love for you is everything. I betrayed you. No. Whatever else, that is lie. I betrayed you. Someone else say that to me about you, I break them. I don't hear this. I put all eight years behind, Eva. No more eight years, I wipe them out. Nothing. Yesterday, I say goodbye to wife in Hungary. Tomorrow, I wake up, I say hello. I put all eight years in one day. You hear me? No, no, sit there. Sit there. I have a right to tell you this. For... For two years, I didn't know if you were alive. Oh, there are ways to find out, but it takes time. It takes money. I had moments when I thought, oh, surely he must be dead, what's the use? But I never stopped. And then I did find out that you were still alive, and I knew I had to get you out. 
and in, well, in, in Hungary today, you can open any prison door with one key, money. And that was when I sold everything. Eva, why do you tell me this? What can I say, that you are wrong? I will not be here if not for you. Please. Eva, why do you do this to yourself? Oh, you don't understand, please. All right, Eva. Let's... No, please, please, sit down, please. It's very difficult for me. It's, uh... It's difficult. You see, when this place was ours, there was a man who came in once in a while, then very often, then every night. I don't want to know this. I don't care what you do with her. I did nothing. That's not what this story is about. Eva, you tear me to pieces. Oh, please, Sandor. I have been away from you for eight years. Surely I wouldn't make such a long story about something as simple as just another man. Please. This man that came in here almost every night, he came to see me. You understand that, don't you? He was in love with me. He was a man with money. I told him what I needed and for what. And he offered it very freely. Very freely, and this is, this is why I was torn, because he was in love with me. Oh, I know about contracts. I give money to buy something. I couldn't give myself, so I gave the restaurant. With money in my hands, my heart felt light. I made all the arrangements. The money was passed to a general in Hungary. And I was told that you would be here in six weeks. So I waited six weeks, eight weeks, three months, five months, and I became frantic, I became panicky, and I started to make inquiries, only to find out that the general was gone. He had disappeared. The money was gone. Like a stone into the bottom of the sea. A small sound, then the waters cover over. Only, I only knew one thing, that was that you were still alive and I had to get you out. But how? Where to get more money? Again there was this man, again he offered the money. Don't you see what a strange situation? I had to take this money or my husband will die. And I tell you, Sander, had you died, I would have been so lonely. I would have felt so alone that I would have given myself to him. I am not a wise woman, but I did what I thought was right. So I... I made a different kind of a contract with him. I said to him, when my husband comes here, he will work for you to pay back the money. So you see, you're not a prisoner over there anymore. But you're not free over here either. This man, what he wants me to be gangster? To kill people? No. It will hurt even more. Today, my boss says, man, his leg broke in the chair. Is this man? Is this man who gives money? Yes. Now I know what he does in my life. Eva, I've loved you ever since a long time. I know what ever was did was, was did for me. You 
will talk. I, I will listen. Yes. I will tell you. But it will take some time. Because this is different than anything you've ever known before. It's as if... Do you remember the little monkey with a hat? He goes with the gypsy that makes music in the street. The monkey does tricks. People laugh. They give pennies. I have turned you into that kind of a monkey. And now you have to honor what I have done to you. Much nice, no? Good morning. Extraordinary. Most long word I know. You do not think this is joke? Huh? Very small joke, maybe. Sandra, do you know what's waiting for you at the gym? Did Mrs. Biro tell you? Babies. Babies play. Eat, sleep, be warm. No? Boys. Like you, Todd. It's serious. Everything a uh, problem, huh? Eh? Men, eat, sleep, be warm. It's one big round circle, no? I say this much nice. America, fine country. Sun warm. Freedom, free as sun. And my beautiful Eva. I say this is everything, my serious friend. I want two things from you, and you do just what I tell you to. Give me some more shoulder, Max. Come on. And I want more in the face. You watch. Oh, no. oh. Now get in here. This man isn't trying to tell you the time of day. He's trying to kill you. Now come on here and give me some more face. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Now, let's get this straight once and for all, all right? Now, Georgie, you're a Russian. You're in with a man who spit in your face. You don't like that, so you don't play nice. You elbow, you gouge, you knee, anything you can get away with. Max, you're standing in for a new man. Vince will show him later. Now, you're a proud spirit. You're all hard, a freedom fighter. You fight clean, but you fight hard. Now, the whole world knows you're a loser, but you don't know it. That's the key. You're a loser, and you don't know it. Extraordinary. Vero, I'd like to see you in my office. Close the door. 
day and tomorrow and the day after you will train. Not to get into shape, but to do what you're told. On the third night, you'll go in as the Hungarian freedom fighter against George, who becomes the Russian colonel. You will wrestle by my plan, hold for hold, grunt for grunt, to a draw. After that, you'll wrestle twice a week. And there'll be another draw, and another, and another. And then you will lose in 45 minutes. Then you will draw again, and then lose in 20 minutes. Maybe by then, I'll want you to win one. But even if I do, we go back to draws and losers. Your pay will be $70 per match, plus 2% of the takeover, 12,000, which happens not often. You understand? I understand more better than I speak. Maybe you're wondering, why do I want a Russian to beat a Hungarian? It's simple, because the crowd wants it the other way. You give them what they want, they get bored, they stay home. You get them angry, they come. They will come to see you win, Hungarian freedom fighter. And they will see you lose, showmanship. This gives me the right to tell you what to do. This is the contract between Rudy Steiner and Eva Biro. It means nothing at law. I knew it when it was signed. So, you can walk if you want to, or stay. And be monkey on string. I have been in bad position before. On mat. With men stronger than I. Want to break me to pieces. In street. Pistol against tank. In prison, Mr. Steiner. Everything against what? against only what lives inside man. You love my wife. I love my wife. But I change clothes. You look a little tired. I'm a dollar thirty-five short. You feel all right? I know I'm not stealing, so I must be adding wrong. Let me see. Five, 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 eight, five, eight, six, okay, five. $280.50, I'm still a dollar thirty-five short. Ava, I love you. It's turning out a good month. Better than last month. Better than last year at this time. Let me give you the dollar thirty-five. Let me give you the world. Rudy, tonight I took Sandor into one of those big furniture stores, you know, where everything is 60% off, but only 10% down, and you think you get the whole thing for nothing. I thought it might amuse him. I made him sit in one of those big chairs that lean all the way back. The idea was to make him see himself contented, comfortable in his happy home with his loving wife. Rudy, he pretended to see it. I pretended too, but it was no good. So I said to my husband, as we came out from the store, I know what you're going through. I hate myself. And I love you, Sandal. He uh, took my hand, held it for a moment, then just turned and moved away into the night.
Mr. Steiner asked me to pick this up. He's going to work at home tomorrow. Yes, face like you. Open, nice. His name, René Latarain. He's champion old friends. Fourteen years back, he come. He come Budapest, wrestling. Hey, summer night. Big stadium. Crowd. Crowd. One big crowd. I come into real. Crowd cheers. It's my crowd. <laughs> it's good feeling. I know I must win for them. I wait for Frenchmen. The crowd change. I hear his boo. I know he comes. I go to meet him. He has face very much like yours. Clean. Good luck, René. Bonne chance, mon vieux. Uh, <laughs> I look at body of Maitre France. His fine young body. Straight, smooth. Body tell me which way fight will be. His skill, not strength. Speed, leaps. Good shifts, hold to hold. This is what body tell me. Again, I look his face. Ah, I see clean face. I know he wrestles. No tricks, no fouls. And so, we begin. Huh? I think right, he is good, he is clever, and he is clean. One minute, first fall to me. It's all right, Rene. Let them boo. I come your country, they boo me too, okay? Okay. Come. This time, not so easy. I try one way. Then other way, I cannot catch him. Once he almost pinned me, but I get out. Then, then I catch him. Ah, wrist lock. Now he big trouble. He can only break two ways. Trip me and fall away. If I stand close, but I stand away. Now he can only straighten out arm. Make arm straight, which he tries. He tries. Now it's strength against strength, huh? But I am stronger. Oh! Now, so, to me, so open face is false. It's fake. Lie! <laughs> so bitter. Why? Oh. Oh, excuse, I hurt you. Excuse, I speak you, but 
I can speak no one else. For as champion, law must be clown. For as man, law must be monkey. Must be. Must be. I try, pal. I try, but I don't think I can. It's a sellout. All right, let's see the outfit. All right, let's hear it for a freedom fighter. Enough, wait outside. Play you down the aisle, they'll play you back. This should be good for eight weeks, 16 matches, and a four-state tour. We'll poke them up a little tonight, Vince. I know I said a draw, but we'll change it to a lose in no less than 25 minutes. He won't know what to do. He'll fake it. Come on, Bureau, you're on. Do it, Sandra, don't. We'll find another way, you'll see. We will, we will. Sandor, will, will, do you hear? Will.
pleasure, my Aunt Tilly. What are you? Some kind of a ballerina or something? Well, Sonny. Mr. Steiner, he's a winner. This has been a Screen Gems film presentation from Columbia Pictures. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer.